guys, today I'm coming in with a design team project for DIY Art Bin Store. And I wanted to let you know, I'm going to be making some tags today and we'll do a quick tutorial. Although you probably know how to make these. If you watch Jillian Norwood, she makes amazing gingerbread tags and stuff. So some of the tools you're going to need for this are this cute little gingerbread die from DIY Art Bin. You're also going to need some craft colored cardstock as well as your glue, a ribbons, um, any other kind of embellishments you want to add on here. And then also you're going to need a white jelly roll pen and a black jelly roll pen, or unless you have the eyelash die. If you have the eyelash die, um, you could probably use that instead. So uh, isn't this so stinking cute? So anyway, this is my little girl version and I'm sorry, I don't have this glued on yet. I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to go. But anyway, I want to get started early on my Christmas tags for presents. Is this not precious? So basically I use my little um, snowflake pearls that I got from Amazon as well as these I got from, I believe it was Joann's or it was Tuesday morning. And then also this is the Michael's paper pad from last year. Let me see if I can see what it is called sugar plums. So cute. Okay. So, and also I got this velvet ribbon on Amazon. I'll have all the links down below, um, especially for this adorable gingerbread by DIY art bin. So I made a little girl tag right here and now I'm going to make a little boy tag and then I will be right back. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black, um, jelly roll pen and I'm basically going to kind of fill these in right here like along the arm and the mouth and then I'm just going to redo this little circle and I love how the embossing helps me do that without it looking crazy and I'm not going to emphasize his lashes because he's a boy not saying that boys don't have lashes but we want him to look a little bit more masculine and so then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my white here it's actually probably better to do the white first but And I think that looks good for now. So the next thing I want to do is I cut this out twice so that I, if I lost any pieces, I could go ahead and um, make sure I have extras, right? And whatever I don't use, I'll just put back in my little baggie and save them for next time in case I forget to do this. Now, instead of doing the little candy pieces on this one, I'm going to go ahead and use no or glitter <laughs> okay so I basically put those two together and, and give me one, one second to find my glitter okay I couldn't find my glitter mix so I'm going to go ahead and use Renee Bouquet's um, chunky glitter glass this is the diamond color so I'm going to go ahead and use that and I'm going to do this in a speed through so sorry there's a white background but this, the back of this is very slippery and I thought it would easily put the, my leftover glitter glass back in my jar. Okay, so another thing that helps me pick up small pieces of paper is actually this is a nail um, thingamajiggy, a, a diamond picker for nails. Um, so you can definitely find that on Amazon in the nail section. So what I did here is I went ahead and like I said earlier, I cut out a bunch of these. And so I'm just going to match them up first before I actually glue everything down, right? <laughs> because otherwise I'll have some crazy looking pieces on here that don't go where they go. And what I love about the embossing thing is you can just follow along with the lines. 
All right, now my buttons. Then we have our little leg pieces. You know, it's so strange. It's easier for me to see these upside down. I know that seems crazy, but the angle just helps me see the embossing lines. Okay. Oops, I accidentally touched my little button. Uh-oh. Let me go ahead and put this one down. And I need to move this one a little bit before it dries. Okay. And I'm thinking about doing the bow tie right about there. Okay, and then we have the whites for our eyes. And we have our nose. And I'm going to color our cheeks first before I put that on there. So far, he's looking pretty cute. Actually, I think I put that upside down. Here we go. He's looking so cute. Then we have our actual eyeballs here. All right, let me get some ink. So I use Simon Says Stamps Rosy Cheeks. I think that's a perfect little color for those. And then now we can just add on the hair. I'm pretty much, it's not dry all the way, but it's close enough. And I'm just gonna pat that on there. I'm going to wipe off, remove any excess glass here. It's looking so cute, guys. Okay, so let me just clean this up real quick. Okay, and I don't know if I want to place him while we're here, you know what? I need to fix this. This is driving me crazy. Okay. 
He's looking adorable. All right, let me see what I'm going to do for the background and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the snowflake ribbon that I got it from the Make It Christmas at Hobby Lobby before. And then also I got these from the Dollar Tree last year and they're little stickers that are wooden. And I also found this is also from the Make It Christmas from Hobby Lobby, this little candy cane. So I thought I would, I don't know, put them right there. That looks good. That's just a little sticker there. Thought I'd just put that there. And I love how this ribbon turned out. I'm just going to glue that on there. I think I might do this on this side this time. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I think that looks like a good spot. I'll just tack it down there. And then I'm going to find a word die for this. Probably Merry Christmas and see how that turns out. And I'll be right back. Guys, I think they turned out so cute. Don't forget to visit DIY Art Bin Store and pick up this super cute gingerbread die. I just love it. And you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of me using this die. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. I'll have a link down below. And I will see you all soon with my next DIY Art Bin project. Bye.